The Yorkshire coast is just spectacular. Here, I can watch gannets vie for the best nest sites. Razorbills lay eggs on precarious cliff faces. And kittiwakes welcome tiny, fluffy chicks. I'll be following the wildlife through the changing seasons and meeting up with the RSPB to see how they monitor the progress here. This is RSPB Bempton Cliffs, and it's one of my favorite places to visit. Spring has arrived, and with that, the seabirds are back. It's known as Seabird City, and it's the largest mainland seabird colony in the UK. Around half a million birds gather here between March and October to breed and nest on these towering chalk cliffs. And this is my favourite part of the reserve, Staple Newick. It's a spectacular chalk arch jutting out into the sea. I can spend hours here watching the seabirds all swirling around in great masses. And it's the best place to watch the gannets. Gannets have a distinctive courtship ritual, tapping their bills together and preening. They mate for life and return to the same nest site each year to renew their bond. But space is at a premium here, which sometimes leads to conflict. I'm watching them fight for the best nesting sites. It's absolute chaos down there. Quite often the females are guarding the nests down there and the males are going off to collect nesting material. With some cheekily stealing from unguarded nests. Also on the ledges are razorbills, with their distinctive black and white plumage and thick black beak. This is a courting pair in what's known as the ecstatic pose, where one bird raises its beak while its mate preens its throat. These birds are monogamous, pairing up with the same partner for life. Razorbills lay a single egg once a year, often right on the cliff edge. With the sun going down, I get a glimpse of one of the birds this area is famous for. I've got some puffins flying in now. Look at that, they've just landed right on the edge of the cliff. So the puffins have been quite few and far between today. They've been out of sea fishing. And look at them, they're so inquisitive. I just love puffins. And they're the perfect end to my day. It's absolutely been great to see all the courtship and nest building down there. And I'll be heading back over the summer to see all the new offspring. It's mid-June and the breeding season is in full swing. And I'm here to meet Poppy from the RSPB. And she's going to tell me how they monitor the birds here. This is incredible, what a view. Absolutely, yeah. It's one of my favourite spots on the reserve, I think. Yeah. 
So how on earth do you start monitoring all these birds? There's literally thousands there in front of us. <laughs> Thankfully, I have a really tiny little area of cliffs to look at. So right. I have a picture of it here. So whereabouts is that on the cliff? So can you see there's a densely kind of packed area of oh, gilly yeah. Mops yeah, just yeah. at the top ledge there, and yeah. they kind of snake down the cliffs. Yes, yeah, I've got that. And that's where all of my kitty wakes are. Oh yeah. So this is my area of the cliffs, and I've got about 50 nest sites that I mm -hmm. look at within that. But there are loads of other volunteers that have different sections. Poppy and her team record new eggs and chicks on the nests to check productivity rates. It's nice and warm, so they're moving around on the nest quite a bit, so I can yeah. actually see what's underneath them, yeah. whether it's eggs, chicks. Um, yeah. But there's quite a lot of chicks around now, so that's really good. Yeah, I can just see a few down there now. The information gathered by Poppy and the RSPB team helps us understand any changes in the population. I know they're relatively stable at the moment, the seabirds, because I know we've had bird flu, which has hit some of the birds quite hard. We did a full colony count last year, um, and that was really quite impressive to see some of the numbers shoot up. Mm -hmm. Certainly, Kitty Wakes had their best productivity year last year for the last 10 years. That's quite incredible because Kitty Wakes are one of those birds that are struggling at the moment, aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So it's really good to see that they're sort of fighting Pulling back. back yeah. yeah. Well, it's been fabulous just to learn a little bit more about what you're doing here. It's yeah. been brilliant to be able to show you this spot. Well, keep up the good work and thank, thank you. Thank you. I'll well, we'll see you later. There are plenty of kitty weight chicks, but the guillemot chicks are harder to see. So I'm moving to another favourite lookout spot. There's so many birds here, it's hard to know which way to look. But just down here, I've got a guillemot, and it's got a little chick underneath it. This is obviously a really precarious life for these chicks, living on these little rock ledges. The chick will stay with its mum until it's about three weeks old, when it will leap from the cliffs into the water. As for the gannets, I'm delighted to see so many chicks. It's been an incredible morning here at RSPB in Bampton and it's been great to learn a little bit more about this amazing seabird colony. And it's heartening to see they're thriving here on the Yorkshire coast. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.